Hey guys, it's Strong Mom and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to look at how to make a diagonal bridge. I've seen quite a few of these done and they look amazing. I don't have any on my island yet, but the one that I'm sitting right next to, I want to make that into a diagonal. You're going to want to find an area that has plenty of room for a lot of water because the bridge takes up four spaces across. So now that I've chosen my area and my old bridge is gone, I'm going to run around and try and clean up the area and figure out which way I want my bridge to go. I chose a Zen bridge. I think that they look really nice and I really like the natural look of them and the feel when they are diagonal over the river. It really looks pretty. Rilla was giving me a little bit of a trouble today. She would not quit fishing. All right, now that I have my land opened up and I am free to do what I want, you need to go, and I found the easiest way was to path out my markers of where I needed to dig. So the brown areas are actually going to be the water spots that you're gonna dig. They need to be in a diagonal like this, and they also need to be four spots apart. Before I decided to use the markers of the land, I was digging it as I went and I found it was much easier to actually see what I'm trying to build as far as where my bridge would be and where my water would be if I used these path markers. So you're free to do it whichever way you'd like, but this was easiest for me and I was able to visually see what I needed done. kind of running back and forth here trying to figure out what I want to do with my area. I finally decide that this is where I want it. After I realized that bridge was so expensive, I wanted to make sure that that is really what I wanted to do. So now you're going to see me digging out the areas that I have already put down with the path. Oops, don't do that. Do the dirts only. So now that you have all of your diagonal edges done, you get to fill in your river. So you basically just make sure you always have the four spots from square to square and then fill it in with your water. So once you get done filling in all the water and it looks like this, you're going to want to knock off the edges of the steps that you had just created. Basically you want to round out your steps. It took me a few tries to figure it out, but once you get it figured out, it's really easy. You kind of have to stand off to the other half of that square area or else you end up doing what I just did. You're going to want to do this to both sides so that now it doesn't have any steps on it. It is all ready for your bridge. And look at there. Imagine that this is a great spot. I was kind of iffy, but in the end I chose where I had originally marked it and it turned out perfect. Yep, I love it. we have everything paid off I time hopped and it's the next day and look at there my bridge is there I honestly love the way this looks it gives a whole different area I also realized I had a visitor everybody meet Vesta <laughs> now that the bridge is placed I'm actually going to show you how I do the river and the lake around it I did end up going with a lake on one side and connecting the river to my other river I think the results were pretty and I really enjoyed the way it made my camp area look.
hopefully you've enjoyed this video and you learned how to do something new. If you like this kind of video, give me a like and a follow and don't forget to turn on the notifications. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!